sixth grade, module four, lesson 25, classwork. Opening exercise, identify a value for the variable that would make each equation or inequality into a true number sentence. Is this the only possible answer? State when the inequ equation or inequality is true using equality and inequality symbols. Okay, so for A, 3 plus g is equal to 15. So there's only going to be one possible answer because we want it to be equal to exactly 15. So 3 plus what is equal to 15? What can we replace g with? So 3 plus 12 is equal to 15. And 12 is the only option. So g must equal 12. There is no other choice. So let's say 12 is the only value that will make this true. B, 30 is greater than 2D, or 2 times D. So let's start, I always like to start by making them equal, because then I have a starting point in my mind. So if I wanted it to be equal, oops, 30 is equal to 2 times 15. So 30, so that's when it's equal. But we want it to be greater than. So I'm going to have to make, let's try if we make D into 2 times 16. So that would be 32. Is 30 greater than 32? No. That does not work. So it looks like it needs to be less than 15. So let's try 30. Is that greater than 2 times 14? That would be 28. So that is true. So it's true. So D needs to be less than or equal to 14. Or it just needs to be less than 15. Either one. They mean the same thing. Or D is less than 15. So there's more than one value that will make it true. Because, for example, if we made it 13, 2 times 13 is 26. So 30 is still greater than 26. So there are going to be a lot of values that make this true. But it just needs to be 14 or lower. So let's say there is more than one. value of D that will make this true. Letter C, 15 over F is less than 5. So I'm going to make it equal to 5. 15 divided by 3 would make it equal to 5, but we need it to be less than 5. So let's try 15 divided by 5, for example. 15 divided by 5 is 3, so that would be true. If we did 15 divided by 4, that would be, let's see, 4 goes into 15 3 times and with 3 left over, so 3 and 3 fourths is less than 5. That would be true. So it looks like F needs to be less than, um, or sorry, it needs to be greater than 3. So as long as it's, it could be 3 and a third, it could be 4, it could be 27. As long as F is greater than 3, it will be true. But there's, so there's more than one value. So there is more than one value of f that will make this true. Letter D. 42 is less than or equal to 50 minus m. Okay, so again, I'm going to make it equal. So 42 would be less than or equal to 50. Let's see, 50 minus 8 would make that equal. So it's going to have something to do with 8. 
Let's try if I did 50 minus 9. Let's see if that's true. So 42 is less than or equal to if I did 41. Is 42 less than or equal to 41? No, that's not true. So let's try 42 is less than or equal to 50 minus. Let's choose something smaller than 8, 7. So is 42 less than or equal to 50 minus 7 is 43. So that is true. So M will be true if it is less than or equal to 8. And there's going to be more than one correct answer. So it could be 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and a half, anything less than 8, less than or equal to 8. There is more than one value of M that will make this true. Okay, example, each of the following numbers, if substituted for the variable, makes one of the equations below into a true number sentence. Match the number to that equation. So we have five different number sentences, and we have 3, 6, 15, 16, and 44. So each one is true for all of these. So let's start with n plus 26 is equal to 32. So what do we need to put in place of n to make this true? So what plus 26 equals 32? So we could figure that out by doing 32 minus 26 would be 6. So n must be equal to 6. So I'm going to cross out 6 because we used it. So b, n minus 12 equals 32. So what minus 12 gets us 32? We can figure that out by adding them. That would be 44. So n needs to be equal to 44. So cross out 44. 17 times n equals 15, 51. So 51 is equal to 17 times what? Well, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but if I'm looking at my options here, it needs to be either 3, 15, or 16. And the only one that even makes sense is 3. So let's just, because 17 times 15 or 17 times 16 would be way more than 51. So let's just double check to make sure that 17 times 3 is 51. So 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 51, so that's true. So n must equal 3. So we have 15 and 16 left. So 4 to the second power, that means 4 multiplied by itself 2 times, so 4 times 4 would be equal to 16. So n is equal to 16 for this one. Now the last one should be 15 because that's all we have left, let's just make sure it works. So 15 over 3 should be equal to 5. Is 15 divided by 3, 5? Yes, it is. So here, n is equal to 5. Or sorry, 15, not just 5. And that is all for this lesson.